Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create a PDF file from this drawing file. In the last video, we have already seen the procedure to convert a PDF file to drawing file to one is to one scale. Please click on the link provided at the upper right corner as well as at the comment section of this video if you haven't gone through that tutorial. Now let's see the procedure. I'll click on the layout tab, you know layout is meant for plotting and you will see a viewport here. I'll select this viewport and click on erase. Next I'll change the page setup. This white area is a page in which you're going to plot. So I'm going to change the paper size. So right click at the page layout and go to page setup manager and go to modify. And here you have to select the printer. The printers are displayed here. Over here, we have a number of options to print a PDF. Here we have a AutoCAD PDF plotter configuration file. At the same time, we have DWG to PDF option to print. I'll choose this particular option. Suppose if you are using older versions of AutoCAD software, you won't get this DWG to PDF printing options. So what is the alternative? The alternative is to use Qt PDF Writer. So just Google Qt PDF, you will get this particular page. You can just download and install this utility. So I'll click on free download and I'll install that. I'll give yes. I accept the agreement. Next, next, install. Now I'll again come back to the layout and right click here, go to page setup manager, modify and here you will see the cute PDF writer. If you are using older releases, you can very well use this option. Now I'm going to use DWG to PDF option. The paper size is A4. Now I'll take A4 with the landscape orientation. Just click on that. Now I want to upload the layout so you don't have to do anything here. I'll give a scale of 1 is to 10 for the paper because I've created the drawing in centimeters and the paper size is in millimeters. So I should give a scale of 1 is to 10 because 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter. Now I'll give OK. Close. So this is an A4 size paper. Next I'll click on the layout tab and I'll choose a rectangular. Here we have an option called fit. So just give an enter, the fit option will be executed. Now here the drawing is displayed in color. If you don't want that, you can again go to page setup manager, right click at the layout, modify, and I'll change the plot style table to monochrome, and I'll click on display plot styles, and I'll give OK. Now everything is in black and white. Now I'll just double click inside the viewport to activate it, and I'll change the scale to 1 is to 100. Next, I'll click on the lock icon to lock the viewport so that the scale of the viewport will get locked. Now, if you double click inside and if you magnify, the entire paper will get magnified and the drawing won't get magnified as a result of which the scale will remain unchanged. Next, I'll plot the drawing. So I'll click on print, plot, I'll give OK. And I'll keep the plot on the desktop. I'll call it as house plan and save. Now you can take a print of this PDF file and that will be a perfectly scaled one. Hence, if you create such a PDF file, you don't need AutoCAD software to print it because you can open a PDF either by using your browser or by using a number of utilities. Before I conclude this video, may I invite your attention to the AutoCAD version in which I was working so far. It is AutoCAD 2021. I would like to inform you that AutoCAD 2021 is released yesterday. Watch out for my new video on some of the cool new features of this latest release of AutoCAD. Until I catch you in the next video, bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group Sabir Cad.
you know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box.